Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Miss Linda from Growing Room. And today I have a book for you to read. And it's about, it's called Dear Hot Dog. And it's by Mordecai Gernstein. It's a book of poems about everyday stuff. Things that you have in your house and that you wear and you use. It's quite a long book, so I'm going to read a few poems today, and then I'll read you some more another day. It's about three children going through a day, starting from when they get up. And some of the everyday things the poems are about are a toothbrush, some socks, some pants that you have, right, that you wear. And right now with the weather, you probably wear some shorts because it's so hot and some shoes, right? And your toes. This is for Daisy and you with love, M.G. Toothbrush, all night dozing in your holder, you wait for me. I give you toothpaste for breakfast, mint. Your favorite flavor. Then you go to work in the foamy pink cave of my mouth. Scouring and scrubbing, gargling your little song, shreds of carrot, pebbles of peanut, cracker crumbs, hiding in cracks, all washed away. I rinse you off, and back in your holder, you sigh and dry. As my day begins, you go back to sleep. Here's the little boy trying to brush his teeth. Pants. We go everywhere together. You carry my treasures for me when I find grass on your knees and sand in your pockets. I know where I've been. We go everywhere together except the washing machine. Don't let them put me in there, you beg, or at least come with me. But all I can do is watch you go round and round in the little window, tumbling in the suds, like me when I'm caught in an ocean wave. I hear your buttons clicking in, the spinning dryer. You emerge. That means you come out, limp and lifeless, till I slip my legs in inside you. You're alive again, eager for our next adventure. Here's the boy with his pants on. Toes, toes, we become strangers this winter. I almost never see you, muffled in your thick red socks. I can't hear what you're saying. We used to be close, whispering together under the covers, telling each other stories. Now I see you in the bath, sometimes looking old and wrinkled. When you put your feet and your hands in water a lot, they get very wrinkly. This summer, I'll kick off my shoes and get to know you again. You love warm sand and playing tag with the icy, lacy, racing surf. That means like the water, when you go in the water, in the ocean, and pools, and digging in the wet for crabs or clams. Toes, I miss you. Socks. I never stop to think about socks. If I get them for a birthday present from Aunt Aldi, I'm disappointed. I can't play with socks, but now with wind rattling the icy windows, putting on these soft, thick red ones makes me happy all day. Shoes. 
Look at this boy running. You sleep under my bed, yawning at dawn. When I wake you, you swallow my feet for breakfast. You love to run, and though I'm fast, you always want to run faster. And faster. Do you wish I were a horse? Do you want to be horseshoes when you grow up? Those are some of the those are some of the poems. I have some more that I can read to you another afternoon, and we'll see what happens to these three children. I hope you enjoyed the poems. Take care, and have a great afternoon.